papers play an important role in many of the products we use every day. It's light, easily storable, and reusable. How is paper made in an era that demands everything be as sustainable as possible? The first process is pulping. Harvested trees are transported from the plantation to the wood yard mill area. The wood is put into the barking machine to remove its spark, which cannot be used in paper making. Bark and byproducts are utilized as fuel to produce electricity used in factories and villages. Subsequently, the logs are washed cut into small pieces and cooked in digester lingin is a fiber adhesive substance in the wood and the cooking process dissolve this lingin substance. The next process is to whiten the pulp. The white pulp is dried and packaged in a pulp dryer. This dried pulp is made into sheet form for easy shipping. Pulp is a raw material for derivate products such as paper, cardboards, and tissue. The water used for washing logs is filtered before being reused to wash other logs. The steps is carried out to reduce water usage. The next step is for pulp to go through the second process paper making. The mixture of pulp water and chemicals is pumped which comes out through a horizontal gap in the surface of filter which moves at a speed of 80 degrees to 90 degrees kilometer per hour. Here are the fiber spreads and form thin sheets, a process of which is called sheet formation. These sheets are put into a processing machine where 50% of their water content is squeezed out. The paper is dried using several metal cylinders as a temperature around 100 degrees Celsius. The final process is finishing after the drying process. The surface of the paper is coated with compound to improve paper quality. Another drying process is carried out to form a rule of paper measuring 8.6 meters. Each part of paper making process is in line with policies on sound environmental management. Pulp and paper is produced using acacia and eucalyptus trees as raw materials from plantations that grow 200 million siblings per year.